me all right. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, it is, it's been a long day. It's a little bit hot, really hot actually. And uh, I'm just trying to film a video today of just a little, I don't know. I want to show you guys the ATV a little bit more and kind of feature it a little bit because I, I say I'm doing an ATV giveaway right now, which I am. But I haven't really gone over really any video with the ATV that anybody can really recall other than putting wheels and tires on it and letting people know that I have it to give away in the first place. Um, and I hope this lighting isn't bad. This lighting just seems awful all the time in this cab, but do what we can. So we got the, we got the ATV and the Can-Am 450 in the bed right now strap down. I don't have my tailgate on though because my tailgate just falls off on this first gen because it doesn't have any of the latches or anything and just to even unlatch the tailgate is always a pain in the butt. Um, but anyways we're just going to get over to the property, going to get the four wheeler unloaded, do a little, I don't know, just kind of ride it around a little bit and kind of give you guys a little bit of information on the four wheeler, the machine, how it is driving and I guess just some basic stuff just so you guys can kind of understand. Some people have never owned an ATV before and they're like, what am I entering to win? Like, I mean, I don't even know, like, I know what four-wheeler is, but tell us a little bit more about it. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna kind of cover the basics on the four-wheeler, and then maybe, maybe a couple other things. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, really quick before we get too far into the video, we are doing an ATV or $5,000 cash giveaway. $5,000 right there. And the way this is going to work is basically there's a link in the description. It'll say enter here or enter website to enter. And every $25 you spend on that website, aka if you're just going to buy t-shirts, every t-shirt you buy is going to get you one entry closer to winning either $5,000 or a Can-Am Outlander. 450. That's the giveaway that we're running. The first thing you're going to notice about the machine is obviously, well, I have it set up on 27 inch swamp light tires and some 14 inch wheels, and that really gives the machine just a much better, more pleasing look to it. When it comes to the responsiveness of the four wheeler, it's actually pretty quick. Um, I did have this thing going actually just below 60 miles an hour on the road, not on these tires, on the factory set. Um, after the, after a few days of driving it around, you know, just around the fields and stuff, going pretty slow, just, you know, under 25. Um, I mean, it, it was riding great, and I took it on the road, and it got up to speed fairly quickly. Um, now, of course, this isn't going to be like an 800 or a 1000 or anything crazy like that. It's a 450, but the fact that I could get this, and I weigh about 165 pounds, and I'm just shy of 6 foot, um, to have this thing going 60 miles an hour, just shy of 60 miles an hour, um, being a 450 going down a flat road that wasn't too bad and I was actually very very impressed at that number four you know given the four that it is just a big heavy 450 I don't know if there's any justice on camera but it's a pretty big machine it looks really I don't know why it looks so small in video but it's actually a really really good size machine plenty of power for somebody my size to be ripping around on the thing and it, it really moves good and there's, a, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of room on this. Here I am thinking I'm gonna get to use my GoPro, and uh, it's not turning on. Good batteries, good everything, not going on. So, looks like we're gonna have to use the camera and operate it with one hand and then one foot down here for the braking. Um, yeah, kind of sucks. Don't know why the camera's not working, but I'm gonna have to make do. I guess I'm out here now. So to start it up, that's pretty much all you do is you put it in pretty much any gear, touch the brake, and start it up. Pretty much most of the time though, it doesn't seem like I need to use the brake anyways, but it's recommended. Um, you can pretty much just put the key in, put it on the on position, click the power on, and you're good to go. Really wish I could use my GoPro for the sake of scenery and view, but... Try to find an area that's a little more open and then try to do a little pull with it. Nothing crazy, but just a little acceleration for you guys. Now, before we do this little pull, keep in mind it's probably going to run slower because of the tires being so tready and knobby. They're actually a, a really good pattern, but they are a lot more aggressive than the factory. A lot more aggressive than the factory. So it's not going to do factory number, but 
um, factory power with the tires that I've on is what we're going to be testing right now. And this isn't like, and for all you Honda and Polaris fanboys out there, this isn't like trying to prove this is the fastest ATV. I'm just showing the ATV that I have provided for the giveaway and uh, you know how it runs. That's all I'm doing, so people can have a little bit of an idea of how the machine performs. So I'm going to try my best to hold it steady, but keep in mind I'm holding a normal DSLR camera and I've only got about a 200 yard stretch here, so I'm just going to be looking up ahead of me where I'm going and hopefully the camera is holding on where I want it to. Okay, so three, two, one. I couldn't really tell. All I know is when I started braking, it said like 35. That wasn't a very long stretch. I wish it had more distance. Um, and in the beginning, I'm not trying to make excuses, but because I, I really, like I said, I really don't care. I'm just trying to show you guys a little bit of a just how the thing runs for a 450. Um, in case you're not familiar with the Can-Am stuff, it. What does this have? 38 horsepower, I think. Uh, but anyways, it was peeling out these big tires like crazy when I started kicking off the line there. Just spinning them, spinning them, spinning them. So I'm gonna try to turn back around and just try to see what I can get on my way back going the other way. But um, it's trying to hard, it's kinda hard because I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand. So I'm not full throttling it the whole time because I'm trying to make sure I'm safely, you know, staying on trail and stuff like that. And I'm trying to just focus on where I'm going and not the camera so it's kinda hard to get, you know, the, the best video. But let's try it again. Start from rolling. Okay, so I know I hit at least 40 that time because I looked down for a second when I felt like we were going the fastest I was going to be able to go with the little distance that I had and let me let me just show you the distance I'm talking about here I've got from here to right there it's not as much as it looks like it looks like a lot of space but that's only about 100 I'm gonna say about 120 yards of distance that you can actually be accelerating I'm not including your starting to get up and go speed which I kind of count as right there but then once you're rolling about five miles an hour you're there all the way up until you get about to that overhanging limb right here and then you have to start stopping for the, you know, for the last 50 yards. Otherwise you're gonna have issues going into the woods and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's how it pulled. It pulls pretty good. And it does some freaking work for a 450, man. And this is coming from a guy that had a Polaris, it was, I think it was an 800 or an 8, I think it was an 800 um, high output. And then also my dad had a Articat 1000, which freaking, ripped that thing sounded nasty it was fast as crap that thing could hit 80 miles an hour like that I mean it was absolutely crazy and coming from you know knowing what those machines feel like I'm very impressed at how the 450 performs honestly I mean for what you're paying unless you happen to find an Articat like we did that was two years new but it's a two years previous model so it was like a 2014 we bought in 2016 but it was sitting on the showroom floor and they were just trying to dump it and we got it for like seven grand unless you find a deal like that this is a great machine to get into for you know six thousand bucks that's all i really had for you guys today it wasn't really wasn't really a ideal i've got some other stuff i'm trying to work on with the um 7.3 trying to brainstorm for the first gen build, which I'll talk to you guys about in tomorrow's video, probably tomorrow's video, because um, I got some stuff I'm really trying to figure out with that truck, because I'm trying to decide how crazy do we want to go with that build, because I'm in, I'm ready to make that thing to shred freaking tires, like just have a blast with it. So um, got some stuff in mind for that, but like I said guys, ATV or five, thousand dollars cash take your pick link in description to get entered you can be having this shipped to your door i'm shipping it to whoever wins in the u.s 50 states i'm shipping it to your door um, or either a cashier's check or paypal of five thousand dollars it's going to be awesome guys there's a lot that goes into these giveaways there's a lot more than you think 
behind the scenes, which is why sometimes it's hard to keep up on video stuff. And also another thing to take note of, pretty much the store is a lot more strict right now online. So I'm not just posting stuff that we don't really have an inventory, but I'm still making available. Like the last giveaway, I thought I had stuff nailed down, but it just wasn't to where at the end of the giveaway, I didn't realize, but I didn't have my inventory marked, so people were buying more stuff than we had, which ran into a problem, because then we had to order stuff in, wait for it to get in, and now people are waiting on their orders an extra week, and they're not happy about that, stuff like that. So for this giveaway, we're not doing that. Pretty much only what you see on the store is what we have on hand once it's sold out. You're not gonna be able to buy it unless we happen to restock it, which some stuff we are, some stuff we're not. Lanyards, keychains, decals, stuff like that. Once it's in stock, if it's gone, before the giveaway's over, they're just gone. We're not restocking that stuff. Same with a lot of shirts and stuff. We're not just gonna let people order and order and order um, once they're out of stock and then just try to play catch up. For this giveaway, it's, if we have it, it's for sale. You can buy it, but if it's not there anymore, then it's just gone. We're not, just, we're not gonna be playing any games. We wanna make sure people can get their stuff a lot faster than the last week of the giveaway. We're just gonna make sure we can do better and better each time with these things to make sure that you guys are getting the best service we can possibly do, you know, from out of our house. Um, we're not an Amazon fulfillment center. We don't have thousands of employees packing orders every single second to get stuff out immediately. Um, but we're trying to do our best. So we want to make sure we control that stuff the best that we can to make sure that you guys have the best buying experience while participating in these giveaways. Link in description, go check out the merch store, grab something while you can, get entered before you miss your opportunity. You could be winning an ATV or $5,000 cash. This giveaway, there's already like way, 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 way less entries coming in than the other one was. I mean, it's way died down compared to the previous giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the K&M 450 down in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.